Okay, here I have a blank MIDI region, and I'm going to choose this new tool called the Brush Tool. Now what's neat about the Brush Tool is that you click and hold, and you drag to the right, and it makes all these notes. Now you notice how it's a little hard for me to stay on track. If I tap Shift, everything is going to snap to one note. Now that's pretty cool, but if I brush and hold Shift, not only am I changing pitch, but I'm also changing velocity. So that's pretty cool. And again, if you were to be drawing tap shift and then hold shift, now it's staying on the same note, but I can change velocity. Very cool stuff. Now I was talking about the brush tool, or I was talking about time handles, right? So I'm going to do a scale quantize. I'm going to say C Lydian. So now everything I draw is going to be in C Lydian. And I'll just draw some funky thing. And I know it's all going to fit within C Lydian. So I've got this pattern. Now I'm going to take my time handles, which I want on, by the way. Um, oops. And I'm going to get myself my pointer tool. You can actually, with your brush tool now, control click and define a brush pattern. Wee! <laughs> so you click, hold, and drag, and you get this brilliant brush pattern. You can brush it again too at a different uh, octave. Uh, if you have the brush tool, that is. There we go. Pretty, pretty fun way that you can make some, I don't know, little minimalist music or something like that. So the brush tool, very, very cool. Highly, highly suggest experimenting with it and uh, playing around with it. Uh, it's a really neat way to, to write MIDI now. So that said, I think I should talk a little bit about note repeat. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.